So the story goes like this. In 1993, there was a show I've seen called The Trials of Life. I seen a jaguar catch and eat an arapaima. I was five years old. Never knowing this was a possibility until River Monsters came out. And I thought I could actually have a shot at this. This is where the adventure begins. Who's going to carry the boats? Today is the day, Arapaima day. Gotta make a really long trip. It's like a three hour run. Gotta get bait first. Me, Ewan, got Paul, our guide back here. So hopefully we can make it happen. Maybe some wolf fish and uh, some marijuana also. So check out when we get to the bait fishing. So, uh, I forgot to put the camera on, but if you look all the way down there, that's where we just pulled these boats up from. <sighs> all these people. Okay, it's, it's okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. So the crazy thing is, is the water is usually high enough where you can come in here with a boat. But since the water level is like a historic low, we have to pull this boat up and then walk it probably about 200 yards into the jungle to get to this lagoon. It's quite tough. Thankfully we have extra people and stuff because I don't know if I could have done this with just me, you, and Paul. There's no way I don't think we could have done it. Dripping. He's dripping too, but he's dripping red. <laughs> Who's gonna carry the boats? Stay hard. Who's gonna? They don't know me, son. They don't know me, son. Bet your old Goggins ain't never pulled it through the Amazon. That'll work. No jump. Dirt nap. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn. Peacock. Just come on. Pretty one, though. Get them. Uh, oh, there we go. You want to keep this one that he has or let go? Okay. 
You got your... Can't catch a wolf fish save my life. You want me to let this okay, one go? Um, that's well, yeah. oh. oh, you think keep this one? Yeah. Oh, over okay, there. It looks like a bed. That's what the Arapaima sit in, like that. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So what we're doing is we're trying to be very, very quiet. Because we're going to the Arapaima spot, which is that way. He caught two wolf fish on a popper. I caught nothing but peacocks, but he's got a half of a slash dead, almost alive wolf fish. And he's on toss that in front of our apartment and hopefully hook up on a big giant. Oh, there we go. Pretty one. Don't wake up. Lay down the boot.
He's ready or not, maybe. He's ready. He's about to be done now. Right right okay, there we go. Yep. Not scared at all. To um. <laughs> oh, we can tease you now. He's like, hey, little fucker. I'm just. Uh oh. Piranhas out there. Oh, there's another one here. Right there. Canes, man. More bait. Muscle right in the fucking head. Aggravating. All right, y'all. After you tend to catch a fish, the caimans tend to come in and just sit in the area where you're catching fish. They're trying to ambush the fish that you're trying to catch. What happens is it scares the arapaima away. And they just sit there. They're not scared of humans. They just sit there and just annoy you. And what happens is when you throw your bait out after... The caimans come in, they hear the splash, then they head off to where your bait has splashed the water. They go underneath the water and they eat your bait underneath the water. So not only do you have to contend with the piranhas, then you have to contend with the caiman also. So it just made it incredibly difficult. So we switched up areas and tried to target something new. All right, right now we're catching uh, bait. Any more bait or no? One more right in front of you. Oh, fish. I can't land them. I'll tell you that. That's a big one. You have to let that one go. Holy crap, that is a big one. A nice one. Pretty one. Beauty. Beautiful. Oof. 
fish like peacock bass. Pretty one. Oh, he come off. Huh? Okay. Okay. Damn it. Wolfie. Nice Wolfie. Oh Lord. Said, don't bring it in the boat. They are dangerous, big teeth. He went bye bye. Right there. There you go. Oh shit. Wind's blowing us. I can't get the bit. It's pissing me off. He was just letting it sit? Yeah. Well, I just caught a wolf fish. He's over there. So, I got him on the bank. I'm trying to get one hook out of one. And then uh, go back to fishing for him. Got a big one. Nice one. Finally. All right, y'all. I'm Ira. Wolffish. 10 pounder. We just started getting into them. So, get some pretty ones. Check this out. Here we go. So, pounds. He is a 10 pounder. Beautiful wolffish. Check that out. Look at that. They're such a, they're so strong. Want me to let him go? Tastes good or not? Yep. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Look at those teeth. Big old wolfish. Oh, ten pounder. All right, buddy. There he goes. Well, we done had four hookups on this one little rock. So hopefully we can uh, get a couple more. How many of them like to hang down there? A lot? Yeah. God, a 40 pounder would be hell and a half. I'm surprised the Cayman didn't come over. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just, I've just been shaking it like that. God, dude, one of them things on a top water, fucking unreal. Like, I'm not even penetrating the hook through them. They're so strong mouth. And I got this drag, like, almost locked. Hey. Pulse, I it down. Imagine that. That was an eight pounder. Imagine a 40. Mine was 10. They all been about the same size. I'm happy I got to check that one off. I just want to catch one on the freaking tape. No, I can turn it off on accident. I thought I was, wasn't recording when I was recording. And that's when I jumped in the front of the boat to, to 
to get the line away from the front. The wolfie gonna get you, Paul. The wolf man. We about to move anyway, I guarantee it. Cause I ain't had a bite. That's all right. I got I got one that I I, I got one that I had right next to the boat that I was just plunking. Roll through that bait fast. Ain't no more bites. No more bites. You wanna move to a different rock? Well, I thought I had the footage from the wolf fish that was on side of the boat. I was turning the camera on and off, trying to get the bites, and then I messed up and didn't hit the record button when I should have hit the record button. But I ended up catching one. I could have caught another one. I could have just slung him on the bank. I was sitting there, thought I was recording. He just ended up coming off. So I had a 10,000 size MQ, 100 pound braid, 100 pound mono to 100 pound leader with an 80 owner circle hook. And I had that drag almost locked down and then I would reel and then I would set once I felt the fish. And even all that pressure I'm putting on those fish, I could barely get through the jaw. So we lost more than what we caught. You know, it, it could be from inexperience of knowing how to fish these fish or just maybe I should have just hit them as absolutely hard as I could. I had one part where <laughs> that wolf fish was running around the front of the boat and had me pinned on my leader and, and I thought I was recording. I, re I really wish I was. I jumped around you and I slung the wolf fish on the bank. So I caught one, <laughs> didn't get it on tape, but the rest of the day was just filled with Ewan catching five pound peacocks on cut bait. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next one. I've been pretty secretive this whole time, so.